I think it's a very important meeting. This is now the third meeting of the EXCO um, committee for, for, for KPAC, and I think it's very important that we keep the momentum of our discussions to be able to give more um, substance and also more form to the organization as it continues to evolve following its uh, initial and its creation in June last year. Clearly the uh, meeting focused on a number of important things including the standards of good practice for public accounts committee, the work plan uh, and also other aspects including how we can also become more relevant to public accounts committees within the Commonwealth, increase our participation and also obtain the necessary um, recognition to be able to, to give more uh, advocacy also to the role of public accounts committees within the Commonwealth. What were the key takeaways from the meeting? Well, I think we have now uh, a very important document which we intend also distributing to all KPAC members which is relating to the standards of good practice and the uh, principles that should guide public accounts committees in their workings. I think this is a very important key deliverable. Also, I think we've gone through the work plan to identify a number of other initiatives which we would like to see executing in the coming months, particularly in terms of training and the preparedness of members, and also to become more effective also in the role of advocacy. Also, this is linked to the principles and the standards of good practice, because if we have established that framework, then we can start actually not only talk about it, but also deal with specific possibly public accounts committees and the challenges they face in their own nations and also give support to, to their strengthening and also their independence. How did you feel about the discussion about the good practice standards? I think it was a very critical and important discussion. Obviously, uh, public accounts committees in the Commonwealth come from, uh, yes, the same origin, but with a lot of different tradition and culture and therefore they have not all evolved in the same manner. Some have a lot of positives and some innovative ways of operating. Others, unfortunately, are still at a stage when they need to be supported, encouraged, and also where we need to encourage a number of reforms within their legislature to ensure that they are given the tools, the independence, uh, the, the transparency and the powers to be able to execute their work effectively. And this is what the standards of good practice seek to, to, to come to. We want the document to be used by parliamentarians in public accounts committees in various countries as a document to advocate reform and encourage change for the better, to be able to make public accounts committees more transparent, more effective and more independent. Great, thank you. And my last question is, how do you feel that CAPAC membership could be best engaged with? Clearly, um, CAPAC, as you know, is based on the countries within the Commonwealth, which are very much spread um, around the globe. Most of them are also associated in regional associations, also dealing with issues of public accounts committee. And therefore, there are a number of levels, directly also through social media, we have instituted also a web page to Wiki um, in collaboration with the World Bank to also give more and disseminate more information about, about us, direct contacts, but also dealing with the other stakeholders, including the associations within their own region, to be able to collaborate, work together and not replicate and duplicate the, the work that could be done in their benefit.